Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Uh, last night I had two of my grandchildren over for dinner and we had some nice crumb chicken and I thought I'm going to make one of my quick cauliflower baits. Not in the oven, just a quick one. Uh, just boil up a bit of cauliflower, put it in the pan. I'm going to show you how. No cream, just a quick cauliflower bake. Like I have used half of a small cauliflower there and that's it there. I have cooked it uh, put it in the microwave where you can boil it uh, about three quarters of the way you don't want it to be overcooked so uh, that's about that's the size as much as I want in that dinner plate because that will fit my my uh, pan and I've got some oil in my pan and I've heated it up and it's just nice and hot that I'm going to put that cauliflower in there and then what I've got here I've got three eggs that I've beaten up and I've got about half a cup of grated cheese. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to put that cauliflower in the pan, just like that. And that, is, that just covers my pan, just like that. That's all I want, uh, just enough to cover my, the bottom of my pan. I've had that heated oil in there before and just put that on and let that heat through. In the meantime, I'm going to put a bit of salt in my egg. I have put a bit of salt in my cauliflower, but what I'm going to do on top of that cauliflower, I'm going to sprinkle some nice pepper on top of that. And that gives it that lovely flavour of the pepper. So in the meantime, while that is getting heated through, it's just got to be heated through. I want that heated through. I've got it in the pan. Now I'm going to add my cheese to I've got three eggs here and about half a cup of cheese. I've got some Parmesan cheese. Well, you can use any cheese you've got inside. Uh, so we don't need that salt anymore. While that is getting nice and hot, I have prepared my... And it's so quick and easy not to put it in the oven. Uh, really, really quick. As long as you've got some cauliflower inside, you can make this really quickly. And in the meantime, uh, a lot of people have been asking me that I don't have any name on my uh, uh, oil bottles. Now I have to tell you the story about my oil bottles because uh, I, I buy a four litre tin of oil, or extra virgin oil I've always used. Now I, I'll tell you this story, a big story. That has been heated through, as long as that's heated through. Now all I'm gonna do is pour that on top of all that cauliflower, all around it, and let that cook nicely. That's all I need to do. So all I did was just pour it on the top and I've let that settle down and I keep on moving it like that. Now the story about these bottles of oil is I've been asked, Connie has rang me up and said what, what do you use? You've got your bottle of oil. But I've been using these bottle of oils for 64 years and I have filled them up every time. Now the story about these well, oil bottles is that when I got married my father, after we come back from our honeymoon, we have sort of a, like a little party. And my father walked in with two bottles of liqueur, uh, a lemon one and a mint one. And since then, when I finished drinking, when we finished drinking the liqueur, I thought, gee, these are lovely bottles. What am I going to do with them? So the story behind all this is that I've been filling these bottles up for 64 years and have told the kids, I don't want you to destroy these bottles, I want you to keep them because they have been, I have filled them up all the time and have used them. So all the people that ask me that I use a bottle with no, no brand on the bottle, so this is the story about my oil bottles. Now, that has been heated through, uh, I just like to, I just like to move it around and, and I have to wait until that gets cooked underneath. And then I'm going to put a plate on that pan and I'm going to turn it over and that's how quick it is. So if you've got a bit of cauliflower inside and you want to use it up as a cauliflower bake, a really quick, quick recipe, no cream, no put it in the oven, very quick. As soon as that cooks underneath, I'm going to tip it over and cook the other side and that's it. So that's the story of my oil bottles. Whoever wants to know, I have been getting a lot of... Uh, people ringing up and saying, you know, you don't have a brand in your oil bottle, what is the story behind it? And I used my, uh, I had a, I get a four litre uh, tin of extra virgin oil and then I fill up those bottles. So 
Uh, I got married in 1954 and they've been going ever since. So uh, that's the story about my olive bottles. Now, what we do now is now we put a plate on top of this. Be careful when you tip it over. Wait a little while till that's been cooked. You can see that that's, and you move it around so that it's not sticking. Just keep on and have that heat up high. So I've given it enough time that I'm going to turn this over now and I'm going to cook the other side. So what we do now, we'll put this plate on the top. I think that's about it. You give it about, I think it would be about two or three minutes. To have that nice and hot. So put that plate on top there like that. And be careful when you tip it over. So what you do is put your hand on that plate and, and tip it over. Make sure that you tip it over. You Maybe you want to go to the sink to do it. I'll do it over here and I'll tip it over. And then what I do, that's it. Put it back in your frying pan and now you brown the other side. And that's how quick it is to make a cauliflower bake. Now, I'm going to uh, let that cook now. That's got to cook for another two or three minutes. And as soon as that cooks, I can just put it on a plate. I'll put it on another plate. And, uh, and then all you need to do is just slice that up. You can have it cold, you can have it hot. Uh, we had it the other night too, also after the barbecue. Uh, so this is my cauliflower bake, which I do quite often for the kids, especially vegetarian. Uh, and it's very, really simple, no cream in it. So, and now you just wait till the other side just browns up. See how lovely and brown that was? Beautiful. Three eggs, about a half a cup of nice grated cheese. I put Parmesan cheese, you can add anything you've got inside. And, and I've used up half of a small cauliflower. That's a match I'll have. If you break it up in little segments and cook it, and then you don't have to cook it that much, just cook it about three quarters of the way. And look, that's nice, that's, that's cooked there. I'll, 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 if you move it around, it won't stick. And that's nice high heat on it, that's browned beautifully. Now I'm going to take it off, I'm going to switch this off, and that is lovely. Look, there you go. Now. Uh, oh, 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 come on, there you go, and that is my nice cauliflower bake with no trouble, just a bit of cauliflower, three eggs, a bit of cheese, and just do it the way I did it in the pan, and you don't have to put it in the oven, and look, in about five minutes I've had a cauliflower bake done up for you, so quick and simple, uh, just try it when you have some like steak or uh, you know we had some nice crumb chicken last night I made that and a salad and that was plenty so uh, give it a go and nice another quick way of making a cauliflower bake thank you for watching bye